Now that you have downloaded and installed the evaluation, let's add a new record to the Photos catalog. From the main menu, click on the Photos button on the left side of the screen. From the navigation bar, click the Add button. We will assume that this photo is already in your collection and has been accessioned with the number 1999.1. When you enter the accession number into the accession number field, it automatically fills in the source field with information from the corresponding accession record. Next, complete the object ID according to your museum's numbering system. The final step is to enter an object name from Past Perfect's lexicon, which is based in Nomenclature 3.0. The name for this particular item is Print, Photographic. We can search the lexicon in two ways. The first is hierarchically. This allows you to narrow down your search through levels of terms. Items are grouped with similar items. The second way to search the lexicon is alphabetically, where all objects are listed in alphabetical order. You may scroll through the list or click on one item and quickly type in the first few letters of the object name to advance to that area. Double-click on the name you want to select and click on the Select as Object Name button. Click Add New Record to exit this screen and view your catalog record. From here, you can save the record or continue to add information about the item. You can type directly into a field, or when you click into a field and see the Authority File icon, you can press F7 on your keyboard to select a term from the authority file for that field. Authority files can be found throughout the program. When you are done entering data into the desired fields, click Save on the navigation bar. To attach an image to a catalog record, you must have purchased and unlocked the optional multimedia upgrade. This evaluation version of Past Perfect includes this feature, so you can try out this function. Clicking Image Management brings you to a screen where you can add and manipulate your images. You can acquire a new image in two ways, by initiating your scanner software or by attaching an already existing image. To attach an existing image from a camera, my pictures, or some other location, Click on the File Folder button to begin the attaching process. In the open window, navigate to the location where your image is saved. Select the correct image that goes with the record and click Open. The Image Metadata window will appear. Some fields are pre-filled, while other fields are blank. You can enter as much or as little information as you want into the metadata window. When finished, click OK. Click Exit to return to your catalog record. You will see the image in the upper right corner of the screen, above the Image Management button. You can add up to 999 images per record. Past Perfect has many easy-to-use tools for searching your collection. Let's exit back to the main menu to examine various research functions. The Research section of the main menu contains five approaches to researching your collection records. Each of these five ways allows you to view records and images, print or export results, and save results to catalog lists. One way to search your records is with all four catalogs. Searching this way allows you to find common items across the four catalogs. Build a filter statement by selecting a field, condition, and value. Click Add to Statement and then click Run Query to Select Records. You can save your query, print the query results, or save the query results to a catalog list. When you click Exit to return to the main menu, you will be asked if you want to abandon your query results. Saying Yes will abandon the results and bring you back to the main menu. 
Saying no will allow you to save the filter statement and run the query again at a later date. Another way to search is by keyword. If you've recently entered a large number of records and data, you'll want to rebuild the keyword list in order to find these latest records. Searching by keyword allows you to enter up to five words to search for, giving you a quick and easy way to search your catalog records without building a filter statement. When finished, click Exit to return to the main menu. Searching by lexicon gives you a list of records based on their category, classification, or subclassification. You can further narrow results by selecting an object name, just as you would when adding a record. For example, to search for a photograph, select Communication Artifact for Category, Documentary Artifact for Classification, and Graphic Document for Subclassification. Highlight the line that has the term Print Photographic and click Run Query to select records to view your results. When finished working with the records, click Exit to return to the main menu. Searching by people is slightly different than other search methods. The names listed are pulled from two areas, People Biography Records and the People field in your catalog records. The names here will appear in the same format as they are entered into the Catalog Records and People Biographies. Select a tab and then double-click on a name to view the associated catalog records. When finished, click Exit to return to the main menu. The final search tool in this section is by Search Term. Similar to searching by people, these terms are pulled from the Search Terms field in the four collection catalogs. Double-click on the search term to view the associated catalog records. When finished working with the results, click Exit to return to the main menu. Thank you again for your interest in PassPerfect. For more information on our products, please visit www.museumsoftware.com or call 1-800-562-6080.